The idea of robots is an old one. Leonardo da Vinci is thought to have sketched the first humanoid robot as early as 1495. Greek philosopher Aristotle made this famous quote around 320 BC. If every tool, when ordered, or even of its own accord, could do the work that befits it. What started with theory and imagination centuries ago has seen actual progress through recent decades. In 1939, Electro made his debut at the 1939-1940 New York World's Fair. The first pilotless bomber took off in 1954. Farm robots started testing the fields in 1958. Today, ingenuity and modern technology have led to robots that can match and at times surpass human ability and even resemble a human. These robots are part of Robotics Revolution, an exhibit that's on a five-year nationwide tour. Recon Scout Throwbot XT can be thrown into dangerous situations to collect vital information. Emis can mimic your facial expressions. And Charlie is America's first full-sized humanoid robot. It walks with two legs. It has a camera's head that looks around the environment, tries to understand the world. If you give a higher level command, it knows how to carry this uh, a task autonomously. Charlie's creator, Dennis Hong, has often been referred to as a Leonardo da Vinci of robots. But the beginning inspirations of what would make him one of the world's leading experts on robotics came from his childhood and a movie called Star Wars. When I was seven years old, I watched the movie Star Wars for the very first time. In the, in the movie, there's this R2-D2 and C-3PO robots. It completely blew my mind. I fell in love with these robots. I am C-3PO, human-cyborg relations. Movies continue to instill inspiration, but some instill ethical questions about how far this technology could go. You don't have to worry about robots reveling against humans. That's not going to happen anytime soon. Maybe in the next, 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 next generation, or maybe not even possible. So I don't worry about that. On the big screen, robots may play the bad guys trying to take over the world. In reality, they're being used in hospitals, battlefields, disaster relief zones, and even outer space. Robonaut 2 launched in 2011 on the Discovery Space Shuttle and became the first humanoid robot in space doing tasks more suited to machines than humans. We call it the 3D task, dull, dirty, dangerous. Things that people should not do or cannot do. That's where we use this technology. All right, so it's really to save people's lives, make people's life uh, uh, more convenient and happier. Convenient and happier for a lot of people includes a robot like Rosie from the Jetsons. So that's my dream. I want to have a robot butler in my home doing the, the, the dishes, taking out the trash, cleaning up the room. Until that dream is fulfilled, we'll just have to settle for a clean floor.